Hi there, I'm joining you uh, today from the corner of Denver and Parcells and at our garden and just met one of our neighbors, uh, Sharon, who is um, getting some oh, so green like tomatoes. Plum. Yeah, those are plum tomatoes and these are more beefsteak. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know if we have any eggplant, but... There's some bigger ones over here. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Thank you. Oh yeah. Nice. Right there, I got a, I got an action shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm sure I'll see you around. I will. God bless. Thank you. Now okay. Um, it's St. Mark's and St. John's on Culver and Rosewood. Oh, so it's okay. three blocks and then down. Okay. Yep. Take good care. So not this uh, Friday, but um, the Friday before, uh, there was a um, attack on this corner of a uh, um, transgender person. And so I wanted to um, make sure that our community, um, St. Mark's and St. John's was aware that that had taken place. and because it was so close to one of our gardens, I also wanted to take the opportunity to kind of sit here and read the gospel text and reflect on it a little bit um, in this location. So I just want to pan around um, the opposite direction from where uh, I just was with my new friend, Sharon. Uh, we've got some corn and some other things here, squash. And then at this corner um, right here, the Big Town Grocery is where um, that awful event took place. And I'm just gonna read the, uh, the news article that came out about it in the Democrat and Chronicle. It said a 30 year old black transgender man sustained what friends say were facial fractures and a concussion and a Friday assault that Rochester police are now calling a possible hate crime. The alleged attack occurred about 1 p.m. Friday on the city's east side at Denver and Parcells Avenue. Police have said they are looking for two suspects um, and Saturday confirmed two victims, the other being 23 years old. And um, then the article goes on to, uh, to talk about um, the hospitalization um, of, of this man um, and his name um, hadn't been released at that point and um, but has recently been released if you want to look online for that you're certainly welcome to do that and um, and there's an opportunity to give um, to help out financially for his um, his recovery and to support him so um, the gospel text this morning is, or this weekend is from Matthew. It's, uh, it's Matthew 14, 22 to 33. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good. Hi. Um, and it's as follows. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side. Well, he dismissed the crowds, and after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the waves was against him, the wind was against him. And early in the morning, he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified saying, it is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. 
Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you of little faith, why do you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat whispered or worshiped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God. This is the gospel of the Lord. I invite you at this time to meditate on the meaning of this text for you on this day. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he had dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified saying, it is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat started walking on the water and came to Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshiped him saying, truly, you are the son of God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God, in whose heart is love and justice, show us this day whom we must love and what we should challenge or change in order that your will for the earth might be done. Increase our hope, dispel our apathy, inspire our imagination, and deepen our commitment until we become the signs of your kingdom for which we pray and others pray. Amen. For anybody out there watching this video who is um, feeling alone and is um, a transgender person or someone in the queer community, LGBTQ, um, I invite you to find resources um, and sources of support in your own local community here in Rochester, we have a great organization called the Out Alliance, and um, you can find resources at outalliance.org. We love you and we support you. Have a good week, everybody. Amen. Oh,